course, as we all know, would be a bit of a problem, to say the least. Uh, testing one, two on the microphones. I knew I forgot something. Let's make certain all these are working here. Dual microphones for dual netcast podcast. What do we want to call this for right now? Looks like everything is working at this point in time, so let's go ahead and get things going. I'm Chief Meteorologist Austin Onik. Peak of the week Wednesday. We've had a little bit of issues tonight, and whether or not this video makes it out to the web and onto our servers, we'll wait and see on that. It is October the 4th, the anniversary of Sputnik. Uh, look that up, kids. It's a really neat little history making portion right there. We're going to have to cut this a little bit short because of some technical issues we've had. It's about 10:30 on Wednesday evening Eastern time. So we're not gonna have a lot of time before we have to start getting ready uh, for the 11 o'clock newscast. Apologies for that, but it's live TV. Uh, stuff happens from time to time, so there's really not much you can do. So we're gonna do a foreshortened version of weather overtime and upload this. Not the most picturesque of sites, but from the Tennessee Aquarium in downtown Chattanooga, a sampling of the trash removed from the Tennessee River during the uh, past session of the Tennessee River Rescue. Our junk, our ways of living life and society, and the packaging for our food and water and drinks and everything else, sometimes they wind up in the waterways. Not good for the wildlife, not good ultimately for us, especially as plastic breaks down into microplastics. It's all a part of our environment to where we need to watch and see what goes on and protecting the environment is what we should all be about because we all have to share this planet. So again, not exactly the most pretty picture for today, but a very important one. Thank you, Tennessee Aquarium, for this picture of the trash pulled out of the Tennessee River. More pictures about the environment, weather, pets in general, uh, weather related, send them to us at pictures at WDEF.com or drop them to our social media pages. We'd love to see what you're seeing, but again, for right now, love to see again that but send them in to us as much as you can we don't have many for the rest of the week so if you can please get them into us as soon as possible that would really help uh high today of 85 we again were just above normal for this time of the year we have nothing in the rain gauge we're half an inch behind for the month as it is we are nearly we are four inches behind on rainfall not exactly a record but not great where it comes to wildfire danger hopefully the information we get in the next couple of days with rainfall will lessen that but not by much from what it looks like record high today 95 set back in 2019 and a record low wouldn't that be nice of 33 degrees excuse me set back in 1974 so it would be great great to be able to see that a few more clouds and sylvester the spider hanging out on the island cove marina and resort camera for early uh, wednesday evening a few clouds off to the west from our Bailey's Heating and Air camera over downtown Chattanooga. From the Plainview Outdoor Advertising camera, Lee Point, 153 at 64. Traffic moving along quite nicely. I believe this is pointed. Yes, you can see the lights of Ruby Falls, but you can't see much of anything else pointing back to the west. Uh, the veteran-owned Patriot Concrete camera will zoom that around in a minute to take a look at what's going on with the traffic uh, downtown on I-24. Tomahawk crane and rigging camera, usually a problem with backups, 75 north to 24 west construction galore going on west of this area so please keep that in mind if you're traveling into the next couple of days and from the speedy's total car care center camera at the chattanooga theater center on the north shore looking over the river the bridges and off to the west beautiful sunset tonight even with the cloud cover out there so nice to be able to see that across the area a lot of clouds temperatures back in the mid 70s so a pleasant evening and again hopefully looking good into uh, tomorrow it's going to be a little bit less on the warm side out there so hopefully not too bad but if you're going out to catch a fish poor conditions according to the website and a mixture of clouds and sun no rainfall expected for tomorrow and likewise heading out for a round of golf it is going to be again dry but it's going to be rather warm lower to mid 80s still just above normal for this time of the year so expect the possibility of some warm conditions in the lower 80s winds out of the south keeping those temperatures up and no rainfall expected for tomorrow let's go ahead and hop into what we're looking at where it comes well okay uh, wildfires 
and smoke that are about to be swept away by this incoming cold front, some clearer, drier air. There will still be some focus of fires down to our south and west. All this Canadian smoke coming down into the southeast United States pushed off to the east by this next front coming on through the area. It's just to our west, and that's where our clouds have been coming in from. We're going to see this potential again moving our way. Uh, slowly until this system catches up with us and as that blasts on through that's the cooler air coming on through so this will overtake this one and pass through the area going into Friday now timing things out this is where things get spectacularly interesting where we see things uh, again could be a bit of a problem out there when it comes to rainfall across the area. For tonight, no rain expected, just clouds out there, lows in the high 50s to lower 60s. Clouds, temperatures back in the lower 80s for Thursday afternoon, and then early Friday morning, maybe a speckle of a shower taking place. Better possibility of thunderstorms back to our north and down to our south. We may see just some showers out there. Friday night football, getting out of school, the trailing edge of that moisture getting pushed out of the way by the cold front might trigger some showers out there, but not looking at a lot. And then that's it for the chances of rainfall. Chilly Saturday morning, temperatures going back into the lower to mid 40s. Uh, could be a brisk start, but no frost being seen. And then as we get into Saturday afternoon, not exactly toasty. We're going to be back in the mid-60s at best. Much more like fall should be for this time of the year. Now, I mentioned rainfall. Again, we're not talking about a lot anytime soon. The potential comes in Thursday night, Friday morning. And then by the time we finish up on Friday afternoon, fractions of an inch, maybe just enough to settle the dust, and that's really going to be about all that we wind up with. No threat of anything in the tropics. Philippe is on its own. It was slated to become a hurricane a couple of days ago, and as it goes north toward about uh, Bermuda, that little speck right there, that's Bermuda. And for what we can see right now is it may pass very close to Bermuda, but it doesn't look like a threat for right now. Tropical storm, yes. Hurricane, apparently, no. So it doesn't seem like too much is going on there for right now. Once again, thanks to the Tennessee Aquarium for the Tennessee River Rescue trash picture for the day. Not picturesque, but important to think about. Lower 80s into tomorrow. We should be seeing some much cooler weather into the weekend. Rain chances coming up as we go into around Friday and then leaving the area Friday night into Saturday. 60s for highs on Saturday and Sunday. We'll bounce back into the upper 70s to the lower 80s by middle part of next week. Now the good news at this time is yes, we'll get some chances of showers. The better news for when it comes to rainfall is that just past this forecast Thursday, Friday, and next Saturday, not this Saturday, but the Saturday upcoming after this weekend, the second weekend of October, we start to see the potential of some more rainfall. That's good because, again, as you saw just a few minutes ago, we are very much on the dry side. So it would be nice to get that in here. So chances of showers coming up as we go into Friday with that front moving through, but not great chances to say the least as we see little of anything taking place here outside of just some light showers, not even a thunderstorm expected. Now, again, date up here, date and time in the top bar. Watch what happens as we go through next week. It clears out nicely. Clear, dry Canadian air, maybe a few clouds around the Great Lakes drifting our way. And then Saturday next week, what looks to be a decently intense area of low pressure, a new storm system arrives with chances of rain. Gray colors indicate the possibility of clouds. And when does this happen? Next Saturday. What's the big deal about that? That is going to be the date of the annular solar eclipse. So it's possible at this time that we may not be able to see the eclipse here in this area. Now, granted, again, this is a very long way out. And when you have forecasts like this, it gets more in focus and a lot can change in that time frame. So it is possible that we may not get any rainfall whatsoever. Uh, or less even, and maybe we get a chance to see some of the eclipse. But for right now, it's a very good possibility that unfortunately we might pick up some more rain and clouds 
right when we don't want them about the time the eclipse rolls on through. So unfortunately, we might be seeing a problem with this. What's the weather going to be like for the total solar eclipse coming up in 2024, April? Way too early to tell at this point, but keep it tuned to News 12 and we'll uh, keep you updated on that. Quick check of a couple of events, astronomically speaking, this weekend, weather permitting, and Saturday. This looks pretty good. Barnard Astronomical Society in Chattanooga holding their next star party uh, where they bring out all their telescopes. A good opportunity to look through them at Cloudland Canyon State Park at the Disc Golf area in the parking lot. More information about this, again, that's this Saturday, the 7th of October, 6.30 p.m. to 10.30 p.m., barnardastronomy.org, or again on Facebook, you can reach them there. Also, a very cool local event, the University of Tennessee Chattanooga Clarence T. Jones Observatory will be holding their star party two weeks after that around Sunday the 22nd from 7 to 9 p.m. That's on 10 North Tuxedo Avenue. I love the names of the streets around here. Very cool. Chattanooga, the topic for the study for the seminar will be at the lecture, Volcanoes in the Solar System. Really neat topic there to study the volcanology on other planets. And the constellations they're going to be focusing on are the Summer Triangle, one of which I remember was Cygnus the Swan, Aquila the, Aquila, Aquila the Eagle, and I think it's Booties the Shepherd, if I'm not mistaken, on there. But it's been a long time since my first astronomy class a long time ago. Facebook.com slash UTC Jones Observatory or go to UTC University of Tennessee Chattanooga ETU and search for the Clarence T. Jones Observatory. More information, more seminars, more star parties coming up here in the near future. So definitely want to check out uh, more about that. Should be 15 days for today. Sorry, I didn't have a chance to get that count countdown fixed until the great shakeout our opportunity to practice what is going on where it comes to earthquake safety yes i know we don't have many earthquakes around here but getting ready for a disaster always a good idea so something to think about so if you'd like to join the shakeout and register your event please do so at shakeout.org if you'd like to be able to tell everybody else about it your opportunity to learn a little bit more about what's going on when it comes to again disasters out there and just being ready for a disaster that would be a really cool thing uh, to take a look at that should do it we are coming up on quarter till 11 unfortunately i've got to go ahead and cut this a little short because i've got to get ready for the 11 o'clock newscast here with andrew harrison in just a little bit more information about the forecast go to wdef.com weather and chip chap and we'll have your forecast bright and early tomorrow morning so stay tuned for more with him and i'll be back with you tomorrow afternoon as we lead you through another day getting you updated on what's going on uh, with the weather across the area. Thanks for joining me on Twitch and Facebook. I'm Chief Meteorologist Austin Onik. Stay tuned for more with News 12 on air and online. More on News 12 at 11 and more with Chip Chapman on the morning show starting at 5 a.m. Eastern. Thanks for joining us.